Welcome to Artila. Today we will start scraping a basic site. Open Artila and write our sample URL, quotes.toscrape.com and press start. On the left panel, click on Add New Property button. Disable the navigation checkbox to use the automatic CSS selector. Click on the quote text, the quotes text areas will be highlighted on the browser, and you will get a preview on the preview panel below. Repeat the process with the authors. Let's see from where this information comes. Open the DevTools pressing F12 and click on the Inspect Element button. You can see Artila detected the class name and wrote it for you. You can inspect the HTML source for the text of the quote. Press Ctrl F and write your selector manually and press Enter. We are just playing with the browser for learning purposes, Artila wrote this configuration for us already. Now we will grab the tags. Add a new property and disable the navigation. Click on the tags area. Add a name for this property. And now, we will clean this field using filters. We want to remove some characters from the line, I can use regular expressions. Write, tags, colon, slash s, and replace it with nothing, to remove it. I also want to separate the tags with commas. I set a second filter to replace the spaces properly. But this was a bit advanced. I go to try another approach. Create a new selector and let's inspect the code again. You can see a meta element that contains the string I need on the content attribute. Let me write this element manually because it does not have any visible element rendered on the browser. CSS selectors are easy to learn. In this case, we used the class selector again, writing meta dot keywords. But our string is inside the content attribute. Let's change this. Sometimes you will find better ways to scrape the same content. All options are valid. Save the project and run it. This was only an introductory video of Artila, I hope you like it. 